Two you and me, should brother. not be banned in the, in the Clem Discord. And I should be back. One, I've been a huge fan of PSU ever since. Two, I really like the story mode of this game, even though story mode doesn't exist on Clementine, sadly. Three, I've also enjoyed the I I've also enjoyed the Xbox 360 servers. As well as the Jap because I, I'm main, I'm mainly a fan of the Xbox 360 servers and the J Japanese PC servers. What will you do if you get back in? Well, what will you do if they let you back hang in? Out with them. And just hang out. Would you be willing not to uh, spam the server so hard? I won't spam. I'll, I'll just rarely talk. Still post your fun facts, though, and stuff? Just not all the time, maybe? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna rarely do that. That's why I keep talking. That's why I keep posting. And I gotta bow my head to people like Eric. People like Gazrar, Celeste, Demon Queen, Duke, Shit, Veil, my whole team, really. All my team and the members of this community, I got to bow my head because humbly, I've been showing off the wrong people. I've been showing off poopy people that really, they don't get any attention. And I just wanted to give them some attention, make them feel something, you know. Truth be told, I, I see it, I noticed this, so I was like, shit, let them feel like they got, they got talked to about living lit. Even if it is insult or whatever, he feel that. He's a huge fan. Shouldn't have been catering to fans. We don't cater to fans. We cater to the people. We cater to the people, the community. So let's start with that. Eric, the PSU fan. Well, anytime y'all see a dude mentioned by, you know, Duke always brings him up in there whenever you're in the Discord. He'll be like, when y'all gonna ban Eric? Oh, but Eric, it's, it's okay for this dude to do it, but it's not okay for Eric. He's our special fan. He's our star fan, you feel me? We, are, we don't talk about the weakest links enough in the world, and he's one of our weak links, and look how big this motherfucker standing. He came here, apologized for nothing. He didn't do nothing wrong, nothing at all. But he here apologizing because he has to. He says, shit, this is my opportunity to possibly get back in the server if I do a public apology because that's how it works. He's one of the only people to ever give a public apology, and he's done no wrong in the server. It's not the only, he's not the only person like that. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. We got to highlight people like that today. We got to talk about the real people today. Let's talk about Demon Queen and Duke. Hey, let's talk about that situation all together. I still think that's really weird, weird that y'all took my two moderators. And I think what it was, was y'all thought they ran the discord. They're my mod and admin because they the most active in my discord. They the ones that help put it together type shit. Not because they fucking did any data work or any of that. It's because of their character. It's because of the help and love they showed me, you feel me? It's because of the help and love they showed the community, you feel me? It had nothing to do with the brand and how it flows. That's my responsibility. That's what I took on. They took on the part of talking to the people and being with the people. So it's funny, you took my mods whenever you thought you could use them. And it's funny, I'm really happy that I unmodded Lazily at the time because I something told me, it was like, bro, Get him out the scenario because I don't want them to have the millionaire, basically. I don't want them to have him. So I know he applies to it, but it was good to see that y'all didn't even see him because it would have been bad if y'all got onto him and he could have like kind of coerced you a little bit to doing the right thing. No, bro, I want to show that they can't do the right thing. They don't know what the right thing is. They don't deserve people with money behind them. They don't deserve this project. Shit. Demon Queen and Duke did nothing wrong. They came and they were active in the server like they were told to be. They came and they played with the community like they did supposed to do. They came and got that shit lit as if I was in there. And that's the point of living lit. Living lit is not a character like I've been saying. It's emotion. So they had some of the most living lit motherfuckers that you could have right now, right? These are people that spent almost two years with me. So they're living fucking lit. And that's how y'all want to end it. You unmod them off of something that has nothing to do with you. You unmod them because they mess with one of your friends. Kilroy. Oh, he's a little off. He's a little, their words, he's a little slow. That's fucked up you would say that at all, right? But what does that have to do with anything? Y'all booted the person that is diagnosed with, you know what I mean, autism. He's diagnosed with that shit. He has to live with that shit. He fights a different battle 
that we will never understand. He live in a different world. You feel me? It's crazy to see the injustices here. Nima and Queen and Duke did nothing wrong. And we can stretch on Duke. Maybe y'all could say maybe Duke did some wrong, but that's like a strike. That's not like a kickoff, right? Mm -mm, that's like a strike because it really ain't got nothing to do with you. It's like a strike. Duke may not be a representation of your team. Queen may not be a representation of your team, but they was on your team and your team already doing dog shit things like stealing money from people, like stealing data from people. I mean, I don't I don't know what else you want, like booting people from that don't look like them, like ostracizing me and Mirza community. Y'all have already done the worst of the worst. So, so to have some people in here that are just joking around trolling, it's, it's baffled me still to this day. OK, y'all want to talk about Duke and Queen? Y'all y'all think, oh, no, they too much. They trolling. OK, let's talk about Celeste. Then. What does Celeste do to you? So let's talk about Noam getting fucked on a tree because he had pictures of virtual reality up and it was him getting fucked on a tree by his spouse. And they made they were in my discord making dude, that was one of the funniest nights. And I'm sorry if you were not around when PSU Clementine was like actually lit. It was awesome a year ago, bro. We had that shit jump in. It was fun. But they was in the discord and they were clowning this dude Noam. Instead of being a man, right? Instead of this motherfucker being a man coming up saying hey bro i see what you're doing i see y'all want my attention and i appreciate y'all you know fuck with me like that we fuck with y'all i love y'all i see you celeste i see you in every shit i'm in every stream too because i'm looking for validation celeste so i see you in every stream i see you up there because I, I go in there too you know i need i need my five seconds of fame baby like bro ain't even gonna acknowledge what he doing and that's fucked up that's really fucked up Okay, you don't want to talk about Celeste? Let's talk about Gazrar. How the hell y'all shun out the, the voice, your voice, right? That was a dude streaming before me for real, you know what I'm saying? We kind of was doing it at the same time. But as the owner, that man lived up the street from you, lived in the same place as you, tried to befriend you, tried to give you awareness of your game, tried to help you with your game. He tried to keep the shit alive himself. You let the community fucking ostracize him, and that's fucked up. You let them beat on him every time he talked. His only safe place was his fucking stream. He went in that Discord, Jess and every single one of them was on his ass. And I understand Jess and them are just over-opinionated. They're like, bro, it's a streamer I want to talk to. But the problem is the moderation team. Check your dogs. Check your cats. Check your pets. You feel what I mean? You tell, you, you tell them what to do. You tell them to shut the fuck up. He's talking. The streamer. That's valuable information for y'all. He gets hundreds of people to come to him. You feel what I'm saying? Um, PSU Clementine was not lucrative before I did my run there. Because I did the run I did, it is now a lucrative motion. Somebody else can go and make money there. You know what I'm saying? Way more money than I did. Made like, what, $3,000? It was like $3,000 or $5,000, something around there. But I made like $3,000 doing that whole run and playing that game, you know? So somebody else can make 10 racks from that shit. It's set up to where it... Um, it's their fault for not going in and trying to get it themselves. They kept want to envy people. And all they're going to do is try to envy the next person as while I'm making these videos because maybe we can stop it. Maybe we can get them to do the right thing. What happened to Gazrar was un unjust. He was a worker. He is a worker. An unofficial member of the team, essentially. You know what I'm saying? Um, the owner has some fucking issues. And I think it's life issues. I understand life isn't perfect right now. Inflation, all this bullshit, right? But to take it and let that affect your community, out of line. You know what I'm saying? Not okay. In my opinion, it's just not ethical. It's not their fault your life sucks. And nor can they improve your life if you don't let them. You can't just sneakily improve your life through them. Stealing money is not okay. It's not okay at all. And I'm going to just keep talking about the injustices more than anything. Let's talk about Clint. Clint is like a 60-year-old man. He's the oldest one in the community and it's known. He helps in the community. He has his own discord. He invites people. Yes, Clint has his problems. He has true ailments. It's like y'all make fun of people that are really going through it. It's like somebody called me a uh, mental or insane. And whenever I've been saying, bro, this, this shit fucked me up. I got to get therapy. I already have to hire a therapist for this. That's not funny, bro, that y'all don't know that how much y'all fucked people up. 
But I'm glad you think it's funny because we're keeping the screenshots for the public. That's one thing y'all ain't realize. We was always going to be in the public here because we thought it was interesting drama. It was so interesting. So we were always going to inform the public about this place so we could see what they think. Um, I got my mama watching this shit, bro. Is she thinking gold? You know what I'm saying? And she's more excited. What's about to happen to y'all next? You know what I'm saying? I got some of my friends tapped in again. What, what did I tell you? All my friends said they think y'all are racist after hearing everything about the autistic fan, about us, about what happened with the living lit brand. They don't think you just racist to the living lit brand. They think you're racist to black people. Just saying the public, not me. I didn't tell them to think that. Actually, I was trying to defend y'all more than anything. You can look up everything. I almost try to defend this team. Most of the time, I'm like, bro, they're just kind of fucking stupid. That's not, you know, that's, that's environment, you know. Y'all want to talk about that, though, huh? What do y'all want to talk about? Y'all just want to talk about me? Well, tell the truth. Just why don't y'all just get to it? Why don't y'all beg me to come back and stream the fucking game? Because it was the best time y'all have ever had. Instead of just trying to keep finding stuff and screenshotting stuff and talking to somebody that you can't even talk to. You feel me? Um, like I said, I know all y'all. I got all the dirt on every single person because y'all were my friends. Y'all ain't got no dirt on me because I'm not a dirty person. The moment I started this run, I was able to be clean. You feel me? I did all my dirty shit before I came here, bro. And that was like in the dispensary, just money shit. Like, you know, cheating off money. That's not never people. I'm more like a red rotten hood. Let me get this weed and go give it to the people. Give them good weed. You know what I'm saying? To my boys. Bring it back to the city. Where all the med car people. Come on. We brought the shop here to you. At my house. You know what I'm saying? More stuff like that, gang. You know? Never character of people. We've always loved people. And even if we weren't doing well, right? We've always tried to stay in contact and do the right thing for people. Because no one else has fucked me up i fucked me up i shouldn't have stayed in that community so i don't take it out on the next community anybody that's coming to me i don't expect them to be kicking my ass anymore because that's what i thought i thought bro everybody in the fancy star series is like this like these people they're not it's actually a lot of love in the series if you go to the current series a whole lot of love and it's people trying to make money that's what this world's about let's get a little money so we can get comfortable let's get comfortable let's get happy in our lives so many people working dead end shit all I tried to tell y'all was, hey, man, you got a way. And look, I made the way for you. That's sad. I told you before I made the way there was a way. You shunned me, then blocked me and tried to make it where I couldn't get to my goal. That's your fault that you fucked with the right person. And I got time today. I was just going to walk away from y'all. But too many injustices, bro. Too many injustices to think about. When you watch that video back of Eric, it's like, wow. Really? What did he do to you? What did he do to you? He did nothing to you. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Well, you know, we'll give a quick shout out to people like Takai, you know what I mean? The leader of all these people. And he came to talk to me like maybe about a week ago and he straight up was like, hey bro, these people right here are not my people. You feel me? Their words, not my words. I ain't got no problem with the living lit brand. Hood Rich has no problem with you. It's only these select people, and we're going to be honest with you, we don't really fuck with them either. We let them be around, but we don't fuck with them either. So after you talk to somebody that really is the leader of the community of that side, it, it turns out, oh shit, it's not even y'all. You just didn't, you just wasn't ever going to hold them to it. You just want to let me know that you ain't got no personal beef and you didn't send them over. Okay, that's good. That's good to know that the leadership is down to keep it going. It's good to know that the leadership might consider ostracizing these individuals just like they did everybody else because people, some people don't deserve it. You know what I mean? Don't deserve to be around people. They need a little time by themselves. So maybe the leadership would consider, hey, bro, this is not a representation of our brand. It's not a representation of what we do. And you need to leave. You feel me? I don't know. I'm not pressing talk high or nothing, but maybe bro will look at it and say, no, nah, bro, these dudes are really bad for not only the game, but for us. No one really likes them, you know? Um, and it's not because you're nerds. It's not because you like PSU. It's not because you're a femboy. It's not because you're them. It's because of you. It's because you're lacking character. That's all. We could talk about people all day. And you know what? Maybe I need to. Maybe we need to make a part three and dedicate it just to the people that have been wronged.
because so many people have been wronged. Y'all hear me bring up Midori Hoshi all the time? Go look at his YouTube video. Why, why do y'all think I talk about them? Their videos are the ones that made me decide my journey in PSU Clementine. Made me decide, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. They made podcasts. They played the game. They uh, told, taught people how to play the game. They helped on the development end. They developed things themselves. And when you look into Midori, you notice one small trend. The forum page is gone first off, right? They buried it. They said something about the price going up. I looked into that. We can get into that for real. No, they buried that, that forum for a reason, okay? When you looked on there at some point, you would see Midori's information on there. And if you could put two and two together, you would put two and two together and say, holy shit, without some of this guy's shit, this shit would not have worked. So it makes sense why he had a strong opinion and why he wanted what he wanted in the game. He wanted all classes to have tornado dance. Um, The main reason they wouldn't even do something like this, right, is for the balance. Are you fucking stupid, bro? Fuck, I'm a, I'm like, are you fucking slow? Like, what the fuck, gang? Balance in a small game doesn't matter. Satisfying your leaders definitely does, especially workers. If bro wanted tornado dance in all the classes, all you had to do was add the tornado dance and say, hey, y'all, in competitions, we not going to use that. They're banned. It's for, except for classes that have it. It's very simple. It's not our fault y'all didn't know how to lead a community. I woke up this morning like it's still dark outside. I woke up like, huh, why did why am I showing these dudes off, bro? Like it was really just for let them, you know, see how it feels to be talked about, but they don't even deserve it. So that'll be y'all last time ever being showed off. Enjoy talking in your cubby hole. Again, I know you're going to keep talking to PSU Clements on Discord because Gnome's not going to check you. So Gnome, we will be finding out what's going on with Dory. We'll start with just the series. I'm going to show everybody why I keep talking about them. So if you want to know why I keep talking about Midori Hoshi, go follow the PSU Clementon page I have. I have the link down below. That's where I'm going to put all the content next for this. We're going to go over the history of PSU Clementon, the misdeeds. We're going to go over everything, all the information. Um, small tidbits y'all don't know. Like the Clementon wasn't the original team that started doing the PSU thing. There was a team before them. I don't remember their name, right? But there was a team that gave these guys the files to finish the game and get the files to the world. These guys have failed their predecessors like a motherfucker. And the lack of character is insane. Um, to the person that is a meat writer that I know is watching all this, I'm sorry for you, Stardust, bro. They are about to, you should like go do your own thing. They about to, they over here thinking about what to do to you next too, bro. They ain't realize all that. They forgot all about that shit, gang. That you stole their files and all that. So it looks like you're going to probably have to make your own server. It's no beef, bro. Whenever you want to go ahead and get it out there, you can come and talk to me. You can come and talk to me and we'll talk about payment. It's not going to be for free no more. We can talk about how we can get it out there for you for payment. Um, all that good stuff. Talk about the game and actually get people to play it so we can get rid of those insecurities. But you're going to need to grind up, get your bread together, and then come holler at your boy. You know, Not doing it for free for you, for sure. Like Five racks should do good for you, gang. Five racks should do good. Bring five racks. But y'all already know what I say. I'm living lit. And y'all are the lit ones. Thank you for hearing the tale. Again, I humbly bow my head to the people that have given me information and made this opportunity, gave me the opportunity to even talk right now. You know what I mean? Share your story. Let me see your story. If you want me to share your story, please tell me. You know what I'm saying? Please send it to me. I'll share anybody's. You want me to leave your name out of it? I will, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to leave, put your name in there if you just want to share your experience. I have a bunch of experiences already. Please send them all through. I want to read them all on this page. So then these guys, it's not, it's not even about the public, right? It's about these guys seeing themselves. They don't see themselves. They forget to look in the mirror. So let's go ahead and be that mirror for them. Peace out, gang.